Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World. We're in Bamberg, Germany. This is one of my favorite places to come in the entire world and definitely my favorite town to come to in Germany. And one of the reasons why is because I get to eat the white sausages with my German Rauchbier or smoked beer. And so a lot of people ask me, Mark, what should I eat when I go places? So today's video is about what you should eat when you go to Germany. But what you should know is Germany does have various foods by the regions. It's not just bratwurst everywhere. Well, yes, there are bratwurst everywhere, but it's not just bratwurst. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through some of the food that you should have when you're here. Some of the meats, the side dishes, desserts, drinks, and things like that. So let's get started. And the first thing you should know about eating in Germany is they love pork, okay? And when you come here, the one thing you should have, especially in Bavaria, you're going to have Haxa or Schweinhaxa. It's pig knuckle, okay? It's a bit, you'll see the bone from a leg and then it'll be the meat wrapped around it, rotating around, it is just to die for. With the crackling on the outside, mm, you gotta have that. Also, if you like the Haxa, there's a thing, if you're here in Oberfranken, where Bamberg is, there's a dish, it's pork shoulder, that's also good, okay? Schreufle. And then if you like more like a grilled pork kind of steak, you have a Schweinbraten, which is good. Now, if you want a little bit different one with a little bit different flavor, they have Sauerbraten, which is uh, a pork that's cooked with spices and stuff like that to give it more of a sour taste, hence the Sauerbraten. It's not really that sour, sour but it is pretty good. Also, if you're going with the, with the pork, obviously it's going to go into the most popular things you have in Germany are the sausages. We actually have a video talking about the best sausages to eat in Germany, but I'll give you a few of them. One, you're going to want to have a Thuringer Bratwurst. It's important that it's a Thuringer Bratwurst. That's the best one out there. And you eat it with mustard, like a spicy mustard. Other ones, if you're here in Bavaria, you might have Nuremberger Bratwurst, which are these little tiny ones like the breakfast sausages in the U.S. Or, if you don't want a pork version, they actually have a veal sausage, it's called Weisswurst. It's a white sausage that you have with sweet mustard. Here in Bavaria, you eat a lot of sweet mustard. And that's one of the things, when you look at condiments here, Germans love their mustard, okay? There could be spicy mustard, mild mustard, or sweet mustard. They have all the different ones out there, and a lot of it will depend on what you're eating, okay? So pork usually has mustard with it, all right? Now, the vice versa, the, the, the veal sausage, really popular down here, really good, okay? Now, another sausage you might have if you're in Berlin, it's called a currywurst or a curry sausage. It's a chopped up bratwurst drowned in curry ketchup with curry spices on top. It took me a year to try it in Germany. I lived in Berlin and I'm glad I did because when I finally did, I fell in love with it. Now, another thing you might look at is, Mark, okay, I'm gonna to go to these beer halls. I wanna go there, what should I eat when I'm there? Well, before you order those pork dishes I said before, what you're probably gonna get is a bretzel or a pretzel. It's a big, soft pretzel. They don't do the, the, the bars, they don't do the crunchy ones like we have in the US, the little ones. You have the big, soft pretzels with your beer. And what you're gonna drink when you're here, obviously you're gonna drink beer here in Germany. And the thing you should know is you don't drink, it's not like in the US we have like a Budweiser that's everywhere or even a Sam Adams that's everywhere. In Germany, you drink the local beer. So here in Bamberg, I'm drinking the Rauch beer, the smoked beer that's from here. When I'm in Bavaria, or sorry, when I'm in Munich, I'm drinking the Munich beers. When I'm up in Berlin, I'm drinking Berliner Kindle. You have these things, and there's different styles of beer here in Germany. You have Hefeweizen or Weiss beer, which is a wheat beer, which is a bit thicker, but tastes really good. If you go to Cologne, you drink a Kulsch. And the thing is, they come in different sizes. Those big, huge beer mugs you see that you think you should always drink from, that's Bavaria, and that's one liter. If you go and drink a Kolsch in Cologne, it's 0.2 liters, it's a little tiny glass. So there's different ways you drink the beer here and different styles you're gonna have. And we actually have a video talking about the different styles of beer in Germany that can help you out. But what you should know is Germany isn't just beer. If you go in the Rhine region, or for me, the Mosel region with Kochum and stuff, there's fantastic wine as well, the Riesling wines. You get it sweet or dry, white, okay? That's what you're gonna be drinking in that region. Anyway, we talked enough about the drinks. Let's see the, the food you're gonna have. So we talked about the pork. Other things, if you're not in, big into pork, you will, well, we have one that'll transition between the two. You have the schnitzels out there. And schnitzel could be either from pork, or it could be from veal, or it might be from chicken. And the different schnitzels, the typical Wiener schnitzel or Viennese one, yeah, it's from Vienna, but the Germans love it too. You're gonna have it, it's a uh, veal cutlet, breaded and then fried. Again, it could be pork or it could be chicken. There's one that I like, it's called Jäger schnitzel, and that is the schnitzel with a cream mushroom sauce on top. It's fantastic. Now the thing is, okay, you know you're gonna get pork, and, or you might get fish, like you might have baked, hen oh, here it's hendel, or a, a chicken, or baked chicken, or grilled chicken is really good. 
and you'll see that on the like on the side of the rows people will be selling those things too but what are you going to have with it well just know that there's a lot of potato based side dishes here yes you will have german german potato salad which they just call potato salad here or kartoffel salat okay you have that also you have a lot of dumplings here maybe it's potato based dumpling a klöse or a zimmer klöse which is like a bread dumpling heck there's even dessert dumplings here you can have or if you want to be really adventuresome, you can have a liver dumpling. Liver clothes. Liver clothes zuppa. There's liver dumpling soup, which actually isn't too bad to try when you're here. Now, some of the other things you look at in terms of side dishes with the potato side of things is you have spätzle. Spätzle is the German noodle. It's a potato-based noodle. Really good. You can have it as a meal by itself. You put to have it with cheese, the Käse spätzle. That's really good. Other things you might have, or if you like tater tots or mashed potatoes, imagine tater tots and mashed potatoes had a baby. Mashed potatoes, drink, fried in a little ball. Those are called croquetten. Very good to eat here. Nice little side dish. Now, you know, we've talked about all these carbs of alcohol and potatoes. Oh, and the bread here, the rolls are fantastic. Get the rolls, okay? And we talked about all this really heavy food, but Mark, I need a little movement. I need some vegetables. Well, yes, the big vegetable you're going to have here, cabbage comes in a lot in many different forms. Yes, you do have your sauerkraut or sauerkraut. That's here. But you know what? If you don't like the sour version, they have rotkohl or blaukraut, which is red cabbage, which is a sweet one. It's red cabbage with apples, and it's a really nice complement to a lot of the dishes that's out there. Also, there's even a viesink, which is like pureed cabbage that you can have. Lots of different things out there. Germans do like their salads and stuff like that, but you should know if you order a tomato salad, it's not tomato and lettuce, it's tomato. Okay, we're getting towards the end of our meal. We got to think what kind of desserts should we have here in Germany? Yes, and then you do have the traditional apple strudel. You can have that with vanilla sauce on top. They sell that almost everywhere. You'll be fine with that one. It's always good. Another thing you might see is black forest cake. This chocolate cake with cherries in it from the black forest region. They sell it around Germany now too. Um, that's also kind of a popular thing for tourists. Another thing I recommend you try, and if you want to have a, like a sweet snack on the go, you have Kaffen. There's like these little fried balls of dough. Very popular at Christmas time too, but they can be big or little fried balls of dough with powdered sugar on top. So yes, your shirt will be covered with a powdered sugar, but they are fantastic. If you're like grandma used to make homemade donuts, that's what they're like. And the thing is though, with desserts in Germany, okay, you want to eat what is seasonal. Right now we're here at strawberry season, so the strawberry cake, phenomenal. And that's the thing, in Germany they like their seasonal foods, so whatever you get, if you're here in Spargel season or asparagus season, I hated asparagus until I came to Germany during asparagus season and I fell in love with it. So you'll have asparagus soup, asparagus wrapped in bacon, asparagus on your tenderloin, all kinds of stuff. So if you know it's a certain season, make sure you eat the, the in-season food produce first because that's always fantastic. Now, I know we've talked about the drinking and the eating, and, but what are you going to do late night? What are my late night snacks here in Germany? Well, yes, you might be able to find a bratwurst stand that's open late night or a little kiosk, but what the Germans typically get late night, and they a lot of times, is the donor kebab. So what is this kebab? When you get a kebab, basically you have a piece of bread, well, you have like a pita bread kind of thing, and they slice it open and they open it up, okay? And they fill it with lettuce, tomato, onion, and then they have different kind of sauces, kreuter sauce or white sauce or curry sauce, whatever kind you want. But the thing is, the meat they put in, when you're walking around Germany and you see these donor kebab stands, you'll see this kind of stick. And there's all this meat on it, and you're like, what kind of meat is that? They basically layered meat on top of each other and compressed it down into this big, huge kind of thing, meat on a spit. And they shaved that off and put it in there with a little more sauce. It sounds like it's going to be gross, but it is fantastic. The Germans love it, the tourists love it, it's all over Europe, it is great. And that's going to be your drinking food late night, is a donor kebab, or a quick snack, okay? So, those are just some of the little things to eat when you're in Germany. We've got a lot more, we try to get some specialty ones, what you should eat here in Bavaria, what you should eat in the north, all kinds of things, and it's all on our website at waltersworld.com, and here on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash waltersworld. So if you want to see more videos like that, click that subscribe button down there and you'll get videos like this in your newsfeed. If you already subscribed, thank you very much and I hope you're ready to go eat in Germany because I know I am and I still have about 20 minutes till they stop serving the Weisswurst, the white sausages, with my Ralph beer, smoked beer, and a pretzel. Oh, it's so good. Anyway, I'll say bye from Bombay. Tschüss.